like Tobey Maguire has become like nerd culture's JFK Jr. We're all just sitting around staring at computer. He's coming back! He's coming back! I swear it! <laughs> Don't mind that I really don't care There's a symbiote prone in my silly old hair Oh yeah, oh yeah, look like Tobey Maguire Only desires to keep my homies inspired Friendly neighborhood who? Friendly neighborhood who? Yeah. Put some respect on Seabiscuit Damn Word on the Facebook is we need to watch the Brazil trailer well, we're yeah. pausing. Okay, we're pausing for a Brazilian trailer Right, yes. we'll continue Click <laughs> <laughs> So, okay, so we just right, sat down right. and watched a Brazilian version of the trailer, which was supposed to have more revealing information. And this is what I'm talking about. This addresses directly what I'm talking about. At this point, yeah. it's gotten to like 9-11 levels of yeah. like minutiae oh, yeah. observation. It's like, there's like an extra point. second, and if you look, see the lizard's head, he, get, he moves a little bit, and, 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 and that force. means that there's like a ghost man there. It's, it's probably Luke Spider Skywalker. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a fourth Spider-Man. Oh yeah, Miles Morales invisible. Yeah, <laughs> he's wearing exactly. the stealth suit from the video game. It's Spider-Man, Miles right. Morales. When you upgrade and unlock all the objective points, but and... that's the problem. When you do so much and you imply that you're doing so much, people's imaginations run so wild because you've proven that you don't have any limits to what you can do now. Oh, we're bringing back all the villains. We're breaking open the multiverse. We're having multiple Spideys and multiple Aunt Mays and multiple okay. friends and multiple okay. Mary Janes. Let's because of that. Everyone can go, well, my thing could possibly happen, so why can't they do that? But in my per version of it could possibly happen, why can't we do that? Let's explain what we saw, because I don't know if anybody realizes where we're at yet. Yeah, it's a dangerous rabbit hole. <laughs> it's it's so a we, lizard hole. So we saw it. It's the exact <laughs> same fucking trailer, but I think it's a glitch. In the Brazil trailer, when Spider-Man's swinging, and there's the Sandman, Electro, and the Lizard, and there's all that scaffolding that... The, the Sandman's punching through and they're all on this big structure. The, the lizard, his head goes like, he gets like he gets hit in the face <gasps> at, at this really weird time. But, and right after that, the Sandman's fist comes directly through the scaffolding right where the lizard is. Literally what happens, what I say happened is that they rushed the shit and like they're gonna edit it for the movie because it just doesn't line up with his, the Sandman's fist is all it is like they just jumped the gun on like when his when he should get the bam reaction from the Sandman punching totally which is funny that the Sandman is so indiscriminate that he's punching the other villain yeah because there would be no point for them to turn on each other they're all teamed the up. Sandman is a good guy Oh, but here's. Uh, Does you think you think in that end fight the Sandman's on their side? No. Well, it looks like he's clearly punching towards Spider-Man, you know, and then maybe it just accidentally. Like, yeah. yeah. Right. Do you think that they're? You think I mean, that's, that's kind of Spider-Man's was... methods. He makes the other villain punch yeah, the other villain. You know? This is under the impression that they're yeah. actually giving full story arcs and redemption arcs to these villains from the previous movies. There's only so many. But I nobody care about. writing the movies now is anywhere near as good as the people writing the movies before. So they're showing up to be used as cynical cash grabs to like dangle fucking nostalgic characters in our mouth because we're fucking predictable horses. Pretty much. The only people's <laughs> stories I care about is Toby's, Andrew's, Doc Ox, Green Goblins, but it doesn't have to be complicated. You know what I mean? Like, you don't have to, you know, if it is just, because we were just about to talk yeah. about, mention, like, how alive are they or, like, what are they exactly? Totally. Oh, yeah. Did Sandman die or did he just become, like, a Kansas song? He just left. Okay. He, he just went into the wind. Yo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's no real, he didn't. Literally in. Dust you know, as the saying the goes, wind. yeah, yep. in the song. So he didn't technically die, but let's get let let's which brings us to your question from let's let's get into that. Do totally. they? Go ahead and ask your question. Yeah, is it like a form of necromancy, or is it like a quantum immortality? So, like, I guess for our listeners, uh, quantum immortality summed up is in and an for infinite me. universe. <laughs> <laughs> um, if a situation were to happen where there's two outcomes, one in which you live, one in which you die, you can no longer be conscious in the universe in which you're dead. So you, from the perspective of the individual, you never die because your consciousness carries over to the universe in which you're alive. So are they alive? And is, 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 is Dr. Octopus aware that he died? Exactly. And came back? So, yes, I think so. Because this was the first spoiler leaks from this movie was like Kevin Feige ripped on 
fucking Alfred Molina for spilling the beans. Like, he was the first one to say, like, yo, I'm coming back. They're bringing me back from the depths of Spider-Man 2. Like, that's what he was saying at the time. But this was a long time ago, and you know how they're re-editing, re-editing, filming new things. Maybe something didn't make sense. So so we have no fucking clue. But bringing him back from death there. But does he know that he didn't survive it or does he think that he survived it and is now in another place? As yeah. in, does he think, does well, he know he that he died and drowned and like, yeah. was, was in- Or did he, or is this some other one? Is this the one who drowned? Exactly. Right. Okay. Maybe it's like a level right. of like Thanos. It better and be. And it's like, that's where, that's where like the weird, fil- uh, it has to be because he, you're fil- not my Peter, right? That proves it. Right. That's like that's when it gets like into this weird philosophical question about like their actual existence with that, where it's just like, are they doomed to con- be see, resurrected over and over again to complete to keep dying over see, and over yeah. again? We can be cynic- cynical about like the lack of creativity, but in a way they're giving they're not making us wait to to fo- like fall in love with a new villain. They realize we don't want to. We don't really want to wait. We love Doctor Octopus. Like, why not just let him come back? It's a co- it, in, in the name of comic book movies. Here's finally. I've said it before. Here's finally the right, right, return right. of from. He was supposed to be dead. He's returning. His re- as dumb his as revenge. any comic book you've ever read. Yeah. yeah. Any of the revenge <laughs> For of. Sure. Do you know how many fucking comic yeah. books? For sure. Insert hero's name. The revenge of insert villain's name. There are. We've never gotten one. I can't think of and one. If they if they make it to the end of this movie and someone lives, like let's say Doctor Octopus, <laughs> Doctor Octopus gets Stark tech or he learns magic, uh, if he becomes some like I'll buy it if he's Ooh. one of these characters that jumps from movie to movie to movie and just shows up yeah. randomly as like a big bad like you do in the comic books. If we're doing this, if we're jumping into the lunacy, which is clear that we kind of are, uh, WandaVision was comic booky. Um, Loki yeah, was dude. super comic booky. If we're Sam getting Raimi. super into that, then I buy it. Um, I would love if that. Uh, give me that. Give me where the multiverse opens up and like Howard the Duck from 1987 pops into Spider Man's new movie or Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. <laughs> give me Cage. Thomas Jane and the guy who was and in Warzone Deadpool. showing up. And that's the only way. I don't want a full Deadpool movie. I want Deadpool in showing up and stuff. So that's what I'm saying. If we devote ourselves you said you to the wanted comic him, book you said aesthetic, you that he wanted him to try and make every movie his feel like his movie like yeah. he shows up just to like yeah 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 he keeps trying to scratch out the movie and make it his like it's it's like a yeah. new x-men movie and it's I like no that. deadpool seven and yeah. a half yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like fourth wall commentary on the new spider-man 2 if they were to place him in it yeah they i can, think that they need to start building him integrating him yeah they did kind of with that advertisement for free guy first oh, first yeah. step um i don't think he might honestly not even want to make a movie. It seems like he's trying to chill. He's got some babies. He wants to take care of his kids. He might oh, be even yeah. better in a cameo role. But I think the smart thing for them to do is to, to make PG-13 movies slightly R for like 10 minutes when he shows up and then disappear again, <laughs> which is all anyone wants Deadpool to do. Yeah, it's time to cover your kid's th- eyes. They get, one, <laughs> they get one F word in a PG-13, so he can just always come yes. up and, and say it. Oh, yes. You could give Deadpool the only F words yeah. in any Marvel movies. Mm, mwah. Yeah, that was more of a blown kiss. I meant to go mwah, which was a chef's kiss. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, no, I totally talked over no. you. Well, I love it if he like uh, he tried to say the f word again, and they censored him, and then he's like, <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I can't say it. I can't say it once. What? what? Yeah. I, gotta go, I gotta go back to my movie. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Well, I guess with all of this, it's like, where are the stakes gonna go after this? Because like with any movie in Marvel, it's like, okay, someone's trying to destroy a city. Then it's like they're trying to destroy the world. Then they're trying to destroy the universe, which we thought with Thanos. But now it's like once you get to the point of like this multiverse, like yeah. how do you up the stakes from there? You don't. You go back to ground fucking zero and you yeah. just enjoy the little things and you hope that they can just shine a new light into all the... That's true. It's just the accumulation of stuff. You just need somebody to show up like Tom Hardy who cares about the character and is willing to push it. Or like, like Ryan Reynolds. They live and breathe this character. They relate to him, and they have a layer of humanity to add to them. Totally. And they respect the like the comics and like Marvel's willing to, and it gives them enough freedom that they're not stepping on their toes and doing a bunch of bullshit that they've done. Yes. Like I, th- I think when you get those cases, that's like the best case. And then you let them all come together and like write together and collaborate, and then they all get to be on screen together. I think that would, that's just. I think they spent yeah they spent their first 
uh, the the first time building legacy characters, their first run, the first phases building legacy characters that you cared about, and then put them in an end game situation with consequences, totally. uh, pun intended. And um, now it's not about the singular heroes that occasionally team up. Now it's about this kind of camaraderie, about all of these people interacting with each other. And st- like, there's still going to be Avengers movies, and it's still going to be about them together. But they're actually going to all be in each other's movies because we're moving more into the comic book stuff. Because before, they kept trying to make it like, we'll make these separate movies that have nothing to do with the other characters, but we're building up these characters, and then eventually they'll get together, and then not show up again in each other's movies ever again. Yeah. Which was super strange, because like during Iron Man 3 and in, in the events of the Captain America movies, where the hell is everyone else? <laughs> um, and so I think that that is being remedied in these kind of things, because everyone's in everyone's thing all the time. And yeah. I think one of the first steps towards that is Matt Murdock, I think, is a real good kind of connecting thread. And if Dr. Octopus is a connecting thread, and then we have, like, Hugh Jackman and Patrick Stewart showing up in the Multiverse of Madness, which is kind of this other connecting thread. Hugh Jackman. Yeah. So there'll be, like, this... Yeah, so that's why they're doing all these reshoots is to oh. get all these cameos in that they didn't get in before. Okay. So I think that they're trying to... And then they're going to implicate that the multiverse, like the energy created by the multiverse is what's Hopefully creating the... mutants in this world. Oh. And so now we're going to get the X-Men. And so they're kind of... What they're using is they're tricking us. They're getting into their next phases by like walking us. They're having the old guys walk us into the new path like we're being walked down the aisle by our dads yeah we're just it's like ushering. patrick stewart is taking well, our hand is like here you come come on guys you remember this well, we're gonna do a new one literally yeah. dude it's so it's getting painful on that level because it's like every old superhero has a predecessor everyone every single fucking one mm-hmm. yeah. fucking iron man has spider-man hulk has she hulk fucking captain america has the new Captain America, dude, whatever. Um, Falcon, Falcon America. Falcon yeah, yeah, America, yeah. yeah. Fucking, there's someone else. Someone else. But that's, but that, uh, Hawkeye. Hawkeye has someone else. But that's how, that's how it's always worked. It's been working like that for, they like, just, the sidekicks get they, sidekicks. Kinda. They're just overdoing it. Yeah. Well, because you can't, you can't just contracts let, are up. Just let new you guys got, show up. But don't like, make it it's, feel it's, so baby. It's so Disney, though. It really is it, so what Disney. Because Disney gets a bunch of big names for their first run of stuff, and they realize it's a lot cheaper to get people that no one really knows and need to be. Will take less money for more stuff, and so they build their like the new iron. And they take and they make the guy who's worth a million dollars say hey oh you're the shit Yo. they take they take robert downey jr and they put him in spider-man Yo. right right and they, they take them... the guy that's worth millions and they put him with the, you know well, oh look see our guy's also worth millions even though we're not paying him millions yet it's a way to like expand their audience too because like if you weren't going to just go to like a doctor strange movie but now it's like if we put spider-man into it if you're a fan of Spider-Man, so it's like a way to just generate a bigger audience even for like standalone superhero films. I do wonder if, I wonder if as the phases go on, I some of it's not for us. Like you and me and you, like it's not for... Like, Eternals like, sure as fuck isn't for me. Eternals isn't for you, but I'm oh, talking yeah. about like this kind of street level, like Hawkeye, the new Hawkeye, uh, the new female Hawkeye. That's not you. for me. That's not for you. Not but for that's me. for somebody. Yeah. That's for somebody to feel good about. The oh, new yeah. uh, the new Ironheart, little black girl is going to be the Iron Man. Uh that's rad. She's gonna be Iron Man. Yeah, there's a little. Uh, not you little. She's like a teenager, like young adult. Is gonna have the. I believe that Ironheart is in the works. That's not for me, and that's, that pisses off a lot of nerds. But you know what? That's for somebody, and that can. That's a brand new. I'll give it I a can shot. see myself in this. Yeah. I'll for somebody shot. growing up right now, that's gonna be a new Marvel fan. Totally. And some of the so some of the stuff isn't gonna be for me. It's gonna it's gonna be for somebody else. And I I'm not mad at it mm-hmm. as long mm-hmm. as I get some stuff for me within that universe. Right. Give me Fantastic Four. It's always gonna be at the core of it. Uh, yeah. For us, Do you think really? they'll dilute So like, too who much? are we to complain that like the thing for us isn't? a little yeah. bit for us sometimes well, yeah. like you know it's, it's, some stuff isn't going to be for us and if we like, demand that it's it's for wait, us wait. that's the height of privilege <laughs> yeah yeah exactly like I, when you look at us it's guys not the, it's not the downy man it's not i don't <laughs> she's black <laughs> well i guess you know at what point does it like start diluting too much too at least in terms of their like audience because like you know um not for me, but, you know, there's going to be an audience for it. But, like, even the witch from, uh, 
WandaVision Scarlet mm-hmm. Witch her new show mm-hmm. and yeah WandaVision I do not dope, care though. about that at all but I'm so glad for Katherine Hahn yeah she's no, getting a new show money. yeah oh the other Captain Marvel yeah or no no uh, Agatha Agatha it was Agatha wow. Agatha is getting a show yeah, yeah. oh yeah why because that's they're going to explore where magic came from in yep. the MCU universe. It's like Oprah's being the producer, like you get a show. Why doesn't you get a show? Why doesn't yeah for real? Like why doesn't just the Scarlet Witch just take us there? Because I because they half give a shit about her. Yeah. From WandaVision. Because they're gonna they're gonna build an entire sub universe out of the magic stuff with Agatha Harkness at the yeah. beginning. Yeah. The like thing they is, did in the comic that, books. but the thing that's so awful. Well, that is that Agatha is just so not. I don't care. Yeah, like, but I like want more Catherine Hahn in my life. You, yeah. yeah, but like, are they going to dilute the audience? It's not like, just the actress, though. It's just like the character, know, yeah. though. Well, a lot of these things are big budgets. And how it was presented so, to me. Like, are you going to get the audiences if you keep creating more and more shows? Is the same audience going to gobble them up? And so I guess that'll be a question. Well, does it matter though? As yeah. long as they're all paying for their subscription to Disney Plus. Oh, exactly. That's what it's going to be. It doesn't matter if the shows are being watched as long as the bill is being paid each month. Yeah, no, that's a fair point. Uh, and I think that's that, that gives them a lot of creative freedom. They're in the place that Nintendo's at. Yeah. Nintendo can make bogus can make bogus products for like two decades and still not lose any money because they've got a war chest. Disney has a war chest. <laughs> they can make like nerds can scream on YouTube all they want about the stuff they don't like and all the woke woke Marvels. They're so woke. But the thing is, they can afford to do that, and they can afford to lose. They can afford to make a make an Eternals and not have it be do so great. They can afford to make. Uh, a female uh, Iron Man. They can afford to make a She-Hulk, yeah. and they can afford to make an, uh, a Hulk. Somebody's authentic at the. And if they don't, at if the if forefront no one likes of it, it, they'll fucking cancel it immediately. Mm. Like they'll yeah. just move on and make a different show. They'll yeah. just keep making stuff until it works, until it sticks, yeah. like they do in the comics. Yeah, right. As long as they don't like let Kevin Feige be, because he's a, that man's an insane person. He has to be to, to be able to juggle all this stuff. Yeah. He just kind of green lights stuff the way Netflix green lights stuff. Just, yeah, like you said, like Oprah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Um, it's like Blumhouse of horror almost for superheroes. Oh, that makes it sound super legit, though. I love yeah. that. Yeah. Now, they're getting to... Uh, uh, what are there? They are getting... They're getting to Blade. Ooh. Which excites me. They're finally getting to like characters I actually then they do this every time. I'm like, I don't care about you anymore. Yeah. And then they be like, Oh, Blade. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh I'm sorry, Blade's coming? That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> you think they'll Oh like, him, Spider Man and Venom yeah. running around together maybe? And they're all gonna like hunt down Morbius. And Morbius? Jared, they're all yeah. gonna like Morbius. fucking cut Jared Leto's head off. Give me more. <laughs> yeah. Give me more of well, that, please. You yeah. know, going off this nostalgia and bringing back characters like, you know, I don't know who they would get to replace Wesley Snipes and do you think that they would well, Mah- Mah- Mahershala Ali is pretty dope. Who's like, that? That's the guy that played the bad guy in Luke Cage. Oh, um, he was okay. in Moonlight. Oh, yeah, uh, He was guy. in the third season of True Detective. He is good. Okay. Um, and he is, if I want anyone to play Blade, and he seems like, I don't think Blades from would fit into the MCU. Yeah. Wesley Snipes Blade. But the guy, that guy, I feel like. Totally. Feels super slick. He's super slick. He's super cool. He's kind of short. Kind of seems to fit into it. Yeah. Uh, well, man, that has been. This has been. <laughs> Anything? Any last this, words? Like, anybody? Uh, Spider Man. I'm excited. I'm just. I'm just gonna tell you. I'm like hesitantly. I'm trepidatiously excited for this. And like, I, I'm hoping that at least 0.2 percent of what I was expecting happens. Right. Um. I'm just. I'm tempering my cynicism. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I yeah. just. Ugh, just make the movie and release it. Yeah. yeah. I. There's a lot to be cautiously excited about. Um. I just want a good movie. Like, you know, it's not that I need to, Toby and Andrew to show up. I just need to, I just want a good movie. I mean, I want to know that the future of Spider-Man movies is going to be, like, legit. You know, like, I don't want them to carry on in this babyish way. Yeah. I just hope that this is the them raising the bar. And, and especially yeah. after, especially after like, um, you know, really the last thing, the biggest threat. I mean, it was weird seeing him fight Mysterio after coming back from Avengers. It was such a low threat. Mm-hmm. You know right, I mean? and now we're getting back into the global threats again. Like, pick a tone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit of a juggle. Or the. Yeah, no. And I guess I'll end with a question is um, so, as we're seeing with all the leaks and everything, um, going back to the JFK thing, like, you know, with astroturfing and fake grassroots mo- movements, is could we from Sony be seeing, like, 
fake uh, leaks and fake stuff like that to get people talking about it because nothing's more exciting for some people than to kind of have knowledge that somebody doesn't mm. know uh, and that's why conspiracy yeah. that's work. why i have and we have yeah them. and yeah. so it's like a way to get really good marketing and as we saw with the trailer that got it's leaked cute that you think sony's that smart yeah as we saw the trailer that was leaked was that the vfx weren't finished and then shortly after they put out the trailer with the vfx finished so right who because who's got a copy of a copy of a copy to just show off on like on youtube but spelled with just a u yeah dot dot tube on some russian site like who who has that except for sony and Yo. sony has been hacked before so if they're ahead of the game they might be just trying to like hmm Yo. okay that's a good question that's a good question to end it on guys this has been toby 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 uh, uh yens uh awesome. reno i'm jason Yo, hillman go check out the music video directed oh, yeah. by yens rude here Thank you. Sorry, yeah, me. Yeah, thanks for having and, me. And uh, Moses. Yeah, you're welcome. It's reality like, TV. It wasn't thanks like for you guys are dragging me on or anything. So of course, dude, I'm uh, to you're gonna about be. This. Won't be the first, the, the last time. So for sure. Toby. Toby. Goodbye. Goodbye now. See ya. Goodbye now. Goodbye. 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 Get out of here. Jesus. Go home.